Well, NASA's newest spacecraft eventually could someday go to an asteroid, the moon, even Mars, but it's on tour right now, and it made a stop in Austin. Dustin Blanchard shows us. Launch, launch, launch. It's been in testing for years, and in May, the Orion spacecraft got the word from NASA. The spacecraft is going to be the one that replaces the shuttle. Excellent. Now, it's ready for the public to see. And that was amazing that it just blew my mind off. I thought it was pretty cool. This is a once in a lifetime dream. A dream that transcends generations. I grew up with the first launches and the first um, uh, man in space, and this has always just been a dream and, and something very important to me. One thing she noticed this design looks familiar. They've returned to the simplicity of the original with all the technology that's developed over the last 50 years. What is old is new, so we've, we've taken the best of the previous uh, um, space programs. He's the project's operations manager, and he's back home in Austin, trying to inspire kids to follow in his footsteps. To go into engineering, to get into science, uh, they need to take my place, they need to take our place to, to continue this. That mission is a success. At least for Jill Carey's son. It would be a really cool experience to help in any part of this, like build it, um, even be on the mission. Maybe even a mission to Mars. 500 feet AGO. It will be a fun trip that I have to take six months to get there. Dustin Blanchard, KXAN Austin News. That capsule is set for human test flights in 2013. It should be ready to go for real in 2020. And if you or your future astronaut child would like to see it, it'll be at the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum tomorrow, one day only, from 8 in the morning till 7 p.m.